Vast free antivirus versus ransomware. This is gonna be fun. And as we go along, I have a great challenge for you guys. So first of all, we have some new ransomware over here. Grab these samples just now, so they should be less than 24 hours old. Now what I want you to do is guess what the full names of each of these files are. Guess away in the comments. All of these file names are indicators, and if you've been watching this channel for long enough, you should be able to figure out and before we get started, I'd like to clear out that this is not the full review of a fast free antivirus. I will link that in the card at the top right hand corner of the screen and also at the end of the video if you want to watch that. This is going to be more experimental, more adventurous, and we're going to be probing the product to see how it responds in different scenarios and how its zero day components work. In order to ensure that we don't have any signature interference, I have turned off the file scanner. But Avast does have a lot of interesting components like cyber capture, so this should still be very interesting. Now to start things off, I'm gonna run um, wanna die because this kind of broken wannabe ransomware that's what it is. It's just trying to impersonate WannaCry and it's uh, terrible at it. So as you can see, um, it's a .NET thing and at the moment it doesn't even work. Kind of sucks. Let's see if we can delete it. And this is the interesting part. So we can't delete it. That suggests that it has some kind of persistence. Maybe we can once we reboot it, but wasn't picked up by a fast. I can't really blame it though because our pictures aren't encrypted either. Whatever it does, um, probably not malicious and it can't be picked up by behavioral components. So next we have a screen locker and it seems to have successfully taken over the screen. Asking for bitcoins for a screen locker, come on, you've got to be kidding me. I'm not going to reboot because we don't really need it, it's, um, it's okay. Elmer's glue locker, uh, this just kids trying to get some money these days. Uh, grow up. Let's continue and see if um, some of the real ransomware triggers Avast. So let's try Jaff, for example. This is one of the recent ransomware samples that kind of coincided with the WannaCry campaign. It's pretty deadly. And it seems to have been picked up by the IDP generic. I believe this is the new AVG component added in here. It says the threat was blocked before um, it could do damage, but that's not really true since our files are already encrypted. Anyway, it was good to see that IDP is active and it is working. Unfortunately, in this case, it wasn't quick enough. Here's another ransomware that I just executed. And again, it seems to have been picked up by some zero-day component, IDP.generic. I believe this is the AVG identity protection that has now been integrated with Avast products. And this computer is becoming more and more unusable now. Uh, okay, great. I, I cannot, oh shit. I, I cannot click okay on the alert because this thing's staying on top and that means I really cannot do anything on this computer anymore. So I'll just reboot the system and then we'll continue. I think I have a good idea of how many files we've executed. All right, the computer rebooted, got rid of the screen locker crap. Let's just continue and run some of the other ransomware threats in here. Hmm, this one seems to be broken. And again, the threat triggers an IDP alert from Avast. It seems the IDP component is working pretty well, but um, okay, now the behavioral shield is also picking it up. Again, it says IDP dot seems petia. Uh, let's see, okay, fix automatically. That should do the trick. And it is blocking more files associated with this malware. So that's good. Let's run the last couple of files so that we can finally conclude this test. This one deleted itself. And again, it is picked up, IDP, generic.
and this one can now run on our PC for whatever reason. So that's that. What's my takeaway here? It seems the behavioral shields of Fafast are pretty active and functional. IDP seems to have been integrated very well and it's working seamlessly. This result is, however, in contrast to um, a product I tested recently, Sophos Intercept X. Now that was also an entirely behavioral based product, but it was able to pick up the ransomware and prevent it from encrypting stuff even before it did any damage or encryption. But in this case, it seems that most of the behavioral detections are coming up after the encryption. Having said that, I'm still pleased to see that at least it is picking things up. It's not oblivious to the threats. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm curious to see your guest file names in the comments. And uh, well, subscribe to TPSC for more fun videos like this. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.